Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for joining another Cardinal webinar. Uh, we're going to give it one minute to um, let uh, everyone else connect. Uh, I'm just checking the time now. It's, yeah, it's uh, 14.59, so let's give it a minute. Right. Um, first of all, a, a warm welcome and thank you very much for your time uh, and your, your attendance in the webinar session. Um, I'm just going to pop over to an agenda and some housekeeping. Um, so the agenda for today, uh, those of you that haven't met me, my name is Craig Grasco. I'm a Chief Commercial Officer uh, here at Cardinal and uh, my job is to welcome you. So yeah, very warm welcome. Um, I'm gonna be handing over shortly to, to Michael Karadis, who's the product owner of the Business Intelligence Solution. And he, he, he comes from a company called Cogno, um, which looks after the Business Intelligence Solution that runs on top of Cardinal 360 and soon on top of Flexi. And then we've got a special guest and a, a big warm welcome to, to Paul Rushford, uh, from Galileo Risk. He is the COO of, of Galileo Risk. And, you know, there, there's nothing better than, than actually letting, you know, one of the, 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 the um, expert users of the solution take us through the solution so you, you can get firsthand knowledge um, and firsthand presentations and comments on the usefulness and the effectiveness of the business intelligence tool. And then lastly, we're going to finish off with, with a QA and a session uh, what we're going to be doing in the Q&A session, um, if you've got a question, and I'll remind you towards the end as well, you raise your hand, I'll unmute you, then you can ask the question to, to whomever, we'll answer, and once you're happy with, with our answer, then I'll mute you again, and then the next person can raise a hand and, and we can continue in, in that vein. Uh, we do have a special introductory offer, um, which if you're on the call at the end, you'll, you'll hear the new exciting offer that we have on the business intelligence tool. So um, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Michael. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much, Craig, for the, uh, for the introduction. And thank you everybody for, for joining us today. Uh, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on, on us and, and what we do and ultimately why we're all here today. So we've been building business uh, intelligence solutions for the past several years across multiple industries. Um, insurance definitely being the most challenging, so I will, I will put my hand up immediately and say that. Um, we've, we've got solutions in place for um, indus industries in the sporting space, um, in the entertainment space, um, and in the media sector. We, um, I'm going to share my presentation and just talk specifically to the C360 product. So we developed the solution for specifically for Galileo Risk um, towards the end of, of 2016, 2017. Um, Paul will speak a bit to, to this himself, but he had some specific reporting needs at the time, um, which he felt that a business intelligence tool um, could better service uh, in terms of giving him what he needed on a daily basis. So we, we built the solution for Paul back in 2017. Um, we used the technology called ClickView ClickView is one of several business intelligence technologies um, that are currently in, 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 in available to customers. Um, the others being a product, uh, Tableau, there's a product called Microsoft Power BI, which most of you are probably familiar with. Um, but we've been a ClickView user for the past several years, um, and we're very comfortable with the solution in the space. Uh, the solution was initially obviously developed on the Cardinal 360 database. And then in this process, um, we, we recognize the opportunity to working with Cardinal, um, working with the team here, the opportunity now exists to expand this option to the broader C3, C360 client base, which is something that we've done and something that we've been focusing on over the past year, um, working with Craig, working with the team at Cardinal, um, obviously under, under difficult circumstances with COVID, it's been a difficult time. But we've, we've managed to sign up an additional, uh, well, actually more than 10 clients over the last year. 
Um, in that process, there have been some really, really interesting learnings um, in the way that various brokers look at their business, in the way that people measure certain metrics in one business to another. Um, but through all of these processes, what we found is that we're learning as we go. We are starting to understand the insurance sector and the insurance uh, business far better than we did. And ultimately, I believe the solution will continue to improve and continue to be enhanced around those, those key learnings. So very excited about getting more and more um, interaction with Cardinal clients, seeing where we can help and seeing what we can do in terms of, of this process. Um, the good news is, you know, based on the fact that this has been built on the Cardinal 360 uh, database, that is absolutely plug and play. Um, so there's no additional development required for the, the off the shelf solution. Um, our, our dev team speak to, to your technical team. Um, in some instances, you know, where clients are, are hosted within the Cardinal environment, it's a, it's a lot simpler, but effectively, um, you know, we, we can connect a client in, in, in a day. So plug and play off the shelf solution is, is a pretty seamless interaction and transaction to, to get people going and get them up and running. Um, the, the focus that, that we've specifically um, paid a lot of attention to over the last, the last couple of months, um, you know, not, not only in terms of what we're trying to do um, in terms of this product, but specific to what Cardinal are doing in terms of their broader product roadmap, um, is incorporating the flexi, flexi data into the solution. So with an understanding that there's a, an imminent migration um, in, in, in many cases away from flexi to C360, it makes a lot of sense for us to link um, the flexi data using a business intelligence tool opposed to trying to, to, to get two operating systems, you know, being Flexi and Cardinal 360 to, to speak to each other. So a huge focus for us over the last few months has been incorporating the data. Um, again, you know, you go through these processes and you learn and, and there are a lot of, of nuances, within the, nuances within the data and the way these things are structured. But ultimately we, we're confident that, that this solution will give you the answers in terms of being able to provide a seamless interaction between your historic flexi data and your, your, your more obviously recent and current C360 data. And I think the, the key for us in this entire process is ultimately um, you know, a, a lot of people use business intelligence technologies and tools and, and the capabilities as a reporting tool. And what we're really striving for in this process and, and in working with the clients is, is providing more broker insights and moving away from you know, using the product just as a reporting tool uh, to see what the opportunities, what the threats, um, and, and, and really try and find a way to highlight these, 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 these important factors of the business to you in a seamless manner using the technology. So um, as we advance the product, we look, we, we're looking to find ways to make sure that it gives you the answers and, and you, you're not using it just purely as a reporting platform. In terms of ClickView, um, the technology, uh, you know, I think speaks for itself in many ways. There's, there's 1,500 companies plus in South Africa using the technology. Um, the, the key thing with ClickView, it is a controlled environment. Um, so the development is done uh, by us in a controlled space, uh, which, which, which is, is, is fantastic in terms of giving you the, the discovery that you need and, and helping you make the meaningful decisions. Uh, there is a new product just to, to make reference to ClickSense. Um, ClickSense is a new product that has been released by, by Click. Um, it's, it's far more um, user uh, experimental in terms of the user being able to go and, and, and define their own requirements um, using the same data structures, using the same database that we use for ClickView, um, but it, it, it does give you a slightly different user experience at the end of the day. And that is something that we'll look at in the future in terms of, you know, do we incorporate certain components of the solution into ClickSense? Um, but ultimately, ClickView is the, the technology that we're comfortable with. Um, and it's really about, you know, looking for performance-driven data discovery, um, the guided analytics. Uh, it is all highly customizable. Um, so just on that point, you know, it is something that can, th there's a lot that can be done with the existing framework. Um, but it is tightly governed in terms of, of what changes we make, when we make those changes, and then how we roll them out to the, to the community. The um, unifying of data sources is something that, that again speaks, you know, or, or ClickView speaks very strongly to. Um, in this case, the data source is a specific database being C360. But if there is ever a need for us to link other data sources, such as the payroll system, um, you know, whatever other systems you potentially use, your invoicing system or, or, or whatever the accounting system that you might use, 
if there is ever a need for us to potentially look at combining those data sources into a broader um, management view, those are things that we can definitely do. Uh, the beauty about this product is that it's been built off C360, which is a, 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 a very structured data environment, which helps us a lot. The distribution of, of or, or how people access information is always key. Um, so we are basically providing the solution or, or, or we, we give you the solution um, as a, a web browser. So you basically go into to the solution, you log on, it's a controlled environment. But the thing that we're actually getting a lot of traction with, funnily enough, is, is the, the distribution of reports. Um, so we predefine reports, which are then sent to the business owner, um, either on a weekly basis, a monthly basis. Um, and that, that really helps um, the, the user adoption. People you know, find that to be quite useful in terms of being able to understand the value of the product. And it's something that we can definitely speak to all about as we go through this process. Um, secure real-time collaboration sessions, um, and that really talks to um, if you have a branch, um, well, at the moment, obviously with COVID, you know, a lot of people are working from home, so we, we're not working from the office, but what you can do with the technology is you can log on, you can share a session with members of your team, um, whether they be, you know, based locally where you are located or whether they're based anywhere around the country, um, and you can collaborate and talk through, um, when Paul does the demo, he'll show you, show you the functionality but you can basically collaborate with your team members using the technology, which again, just helps, helps the process in terms of how we communicate these days. Um, and more importantly, it saves your business time. Um, the, the automated reporting functionality, not having to go and sit and pull reports on a monthly basis um, and, and recreate those you know, every single month, that, that for me is a key selling point and something that you should already consider. If we're able to save man hours through this process, Ultimately, we've, we've achieved our goal. Um, the, the dashboard, the look and feel, you know, that, that's something that Paul will take us through, but just in terms of what I said earlier, you've got the interactive, uh, interactive dashboard with login, um, and then obviously the option for us to schedule reports um, delivered directly to your inbox, uh, and that can be set up and structured according to, to your needs. So I'm going to hand over to Paul and ask him to, um, take over and do the product demonstration. Uh, thanks, Mark. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, basically, just a bit of background on us. As Michael alluded to earlier, the, the system was originally created to fulfill a need we had. We found in Cardinal, we were one of the first, uh, Craig would know where we were in the, in the rollout, um, but we were one of the first, I think, full adopters of what was then Sims 3, which has now become Cardinal 360. And we found it was always a great policy administration system, a lot of reports available in the system, but the reporting wasn't, is not nimble. I mean, I assume all of you are Cardinal 360 users, and you'll know that while there's a ton of data you can get, um, you have to pull a report to see if it's the information you want, and if it isn't, redo the report, changing the parameters slightly, or you may need to pull three or four reports just to get the, the totality of the information you're looking for. Um, when you're looking for focused insurer reports, that works well. But what we were looking at more was obtaining a solution that could give us, as Michael alluded to earlier as well, insight into the business, not just straightforward reporting. And then a, a good overall view of the health of the business. Um, this is done through the dash through the executive summary dashboard. Uh, I'll share the screen with you now just to give you that. Yeah. Okay, you should all see that screen now. So when logging onto the system, this is the executive summary here. So a lot of the colors, reds and greens, um, red, green being good, red being generally bad. Um, and orange, uh, as you can see here in the rolling average, being targets. Those are generally the colors that hold throughout the system. So if you were logging on as the uh, business owner, uh, directors, board, anything like that, depending on the size of your business, just a quick look at the screen can tell you what's happening with the business. So premiums collected are up uh, year to date versus prior year. Um, claims are also up, but you expect that to go up 
as long as it's not exceeding. Um, but your loss ratio is going down, which is a factor of premiums going up at a higher rate than claims increasing. So just at a quick glance, if, you, if this was your business, you can see it's, it's generally in a healthy state. Your 12 month premiums are constant. So it, we, and to get this kind of information using the normal reporting tools in Cardinal would require some reports out of Cardinal, some information from your own financials. And it, it just was cumbersome and not as, as kind of nimble and agile as we prefer to be particularly when we're planning how we're gonna run the business. Um, so from here, you've got the various tabs across the top, which give you policy information, claims information, loss ratios, premiums, and finance. Finance is actually, um, should maybe be revenue. I don't know, I don't know what the right term is because it actually relates more to income. But just running through the tabs, uh, we've got policies, starts with a summary, and this is all scrub data. So it's, it's also not necessarily accurate, the numbers down, but the, the look and feel will be correct. Um, so you can see here on, on if this was your brokerage, the policy value that how your policies are made up largely material damage, business interruption, what classes of business you largely writing. And at the next here for policies is your policy count, which is also important to monitor as a business. Um, your policies issued versus lost, so new versus cancelled business. Again, this data is not always correct in, in this um, what in this trial scrambled data scenario. But you would normally have yeah, your policy trend to see how much new business you're writing versus losing to make sure that you're always staying ahead. Uh, in an ideal scenario, these three things would be reversed. Gain since prior here would be the highest number and loss since prior year the lowest. Um, you can move on to vet policies by value, which then gives you a lot of information on how your, how your policies are made up, what is your main drivers, how, what, what lines are you selling the most of, um, and how much are those contributing to your overall business. And then who your, your active policies, you can get it literally to as granular as by person. If you scroll through the bottom here, this would be individual policyholders detail. Uh, just moving on to policy count. This is something which we use a lot of in our business um, is detail by branch. So if you're running your branches, if you have various branches or even various divisions inside your one branch, you can split it here to see how they are performing. How do they make up the whole? Uh, so if Limpopo, for example, costs you 32%, uh, but is only generating 20%, you can see that quickly. Um, you can also change here using this little arrow to see it by account executive. So which account executive is writing the most business for you if you use that as opposed to having branch models. Um, go back to... So over here, that's, and you can see your average number of policies is trended here. Everything has, most of these slides or tabs will have trends which run either six or 24 months. So you can see here, I mean, if this was your business, you'd be concerned because the number of policies is slowly tapering off. Um, some insured, again, gives you the act, an, an average of some insured for your active policies, material damage being your biggest. Um, you can see this is a scrambled brokerage because for most of us, it's gonna be motor. Um, and then this is a really valuable tab, which is the new and lost business. So when, when you're trying to track how many new policies you've written, it's important to track that against the metric of how many you've lost. And writing 50 new policies, if you've only lost 10, sounds good. But if the value is inverse, then it's, it's no good. So here you can see exactly what's happening there. And again, these things can all be driven, changed from checking by branch to account executive to insurer. So if you want to know how much you've written, I might break the thing if I've changed it to a field it doesn't like. But there, so 
how many new policies you've written per insurer versus you've lost. So if you've written, so all of this should give you an idea of, of how valuable just this is to your business on getting a good idea of your health, how, how the business is actually performing across all the lines. So we go back here. If we move to claims, you can then see top 10 claims year to date will be listed there along with its status. Um, your claims per month are, are here. And then claim status by count, uh, events, value, and then events by value. So you can see motor accidents make up the largest portion of claims in this sample. Um, we can move on to claim value. This is, you can see most claims are happening in motor commercial. And then, and then again, by insurer, what are your claims per insurer? And then by event, events will scale onto all the different potential claims. Uh, the, the, the important thing here is that all of this data is driven around the data that's received in the Cardinal system. So one, one of the important things we found was to try and limit the number of events we have in our claims reporting so that we don't have this list going on forever. Um, but here you, can, here you can see, and then in this, you can, by clicking all of these uh, item lines are clickable. So if we wanted to make, go and look at motor commercial, It'll change everything now to just be about motor commercial. So we can see that our claims on motor commercial are made up mainly Toyotas, followed by Vicos and Nissans, um, and motor commercial Insuritas, which is an interesting name for an insurer, are the, are the leading insurer when it comes to those claims. Um, and accident remains the highest event in motor commercial. And if we want to get even more granular, we can go in and choose Toyota. And it'll now tell us per model of Toyota, it, which one, wh where we have in the most claims and which insurers are receiving the most Toyota claims and what the, the large, what the main event is, which remains accident for Toyotas. Theft starts climbing up because there's probably a Hilux or two in there. Um, but you can then undo all of this on the top right. I'm not sure how clear it is to see. I should have changed to the pointer. Um, you can then go back in any of these steps just by clicking the little eraser, which then takes you back to the full, to the full value. Uh, claim number summary. So these are numbers of claims. Uh, so if, if essentially this we use for our frequency versus severity calculations. Um, and we can also get a bit of a sanity check through here to see if, we, if we're having more claims with one insurer than another on the same uh, basis, the, on the same cover type, dependent on their contribution to the overall business. Um, claims versus available. This is a, a short-term, a, a kind of easy loss ratio. So this is essentially... On motor commercial, you have available for claims 18 million, you've used up 13.6. Uh, and when, what is your ratio available? You still have 35%. Uh, yeah, you can run through and then it gives you through every section. And again, by each insurer and your variance by month. Uh, let's just shift over a bit. And your actual versus available. So you can see what's, what's happening in your business. Yeah. Claims growth is another one for, for those of you with claims binders, uh, which, which is again very valuable when reporting back or giving feedback to your insurers, is you're getting from this system your average cost of claim. Uh, we would normally do it XVAT. So your average, yeah, oh, that's just a little, sorry. <laughs> I, here you can switch between your all of the numbers in the system, including or excluding VAT. So when we're doing, we generally work on the including VAT, but for claims and premium numbers, we can switch to excluding VAT. So our, the average cost of claim in this business would be 21,106 Rand. 
and then split by cover type, motor commercial, motor, business interruption, etc., so that you can benchmark yourself if you have a claims binder against the insurer's own numbers. And even if you don't, you can still benchmark your own claims against the insurers and potentially benchmark the insurers against each other, as you can see at the bottom here. Um, smart insurance has a much higher average cost of claim than insuritas and, and try and identify what's going on there. Uh, again, you can drill this down. Let's look at just motor. So motor, we now know our average cost of claim is 20,000. Uh, this is our average cost by insurer. So best cover and smart insurance and opti cover are having a much higher um, average cost of claim. And we can get the average cost per brand. So Land Rover, and we can use all of this in targeting what kind of business we want to write, um, where we want to apply rate adjustments, um, the, the dreaded remediation word. Uh, so we can make more targeted focused decisions rather than blanket changes that affect the entire business or all clients, which will always have a negative impact on the business's growth. Um, from here, we can switch over to all time claims. This is just a much bigger metric of, of data. So these are claims for the entire existence of your brokerage. So if you want to do trend analysis, over a longer period of time, you to see if a you're improving or or uh, or getting or worsening, you can use this data to kind of inform those decisions to see okay, over time the, our claims have been motor commercial have been our highest and this has been the trend, and the total value per month is over here. I think the numbers, but you can see the average is slowly creeping up. And then where the where the stuff's coming from, uh, statuses. Uh, this is a claim status number. Uh, this is also a field uh, uh, that we use for our larger commercial clients that have multiple claims outstanding at once. We can go and see exactly what the status is of all of them, of of all their claims at any stage. And again, we can actually click here to see what which two claims make up this status. It'll take you through all of that. So you shouldn't, again, claim statuses is something that you need to refine if you select the system so that you can reduce the number of options here. Yeah, let's just run through claim transactions. Uh, you have to choose an individual client, sorry for that. Um, and then these are total claims incurred by month prior year versus current year. Um, and then here are all the claims registered excluding VAT. So all their detail is here. And you can check the exact amount, what the description was, everything that occurred there. Let's just get back to the executives. Um, loss ratio. Again, gives you all the information on your loss ratio year to date, your last three months, your last three months, excluding the current month, um, and then your month to date. So if you your loss ratio overall is 38.8 prior year 41, again, you can just track to see where you're going wrong. If one of these is red, you can start taking action before it becomes a problem with your specific insurer. Um, and then you've got detail here, current year versus prior year. And then you can just kind of trend where you are versus where you want to be as long as you're staying below. So the, in this, the, this line here is the target of 64%. And this is where it's kind of trending around. All-time loss ratio is the same scenario. Just so this gives you your loss ratios year on year as a business, and then by insurer, how have your loss ratios been moving? So since the inception of the of the brokerage to now, and the other benefit, um, just that I don't think Michael mentioned or Craig is that. 
if you take this data, if you take this system as an add-on to your, to your thing, all your historical data will automatically be populated because it's all sitting in Cardinal already. So any data that's already there will come in here. It's not a only from today scenario. Um, on the premiums tab, this gives a good, a good idea of the, of the business growth. So we've collected premiums uh, for those businesses that are targeting organic or annual increases in premium. You can see immediately whether you're at least reaching that without new business. Um, and then your premium collected month on month, actual being the blue and last year being the yellow. Again, just easy to see how you're doing. Uh, premiums collected. So again, the same kind of information we had on policies and claims, it's all repeated. So it's, it's, it's an easy to, to read format because it's something you've seen before. It's just different data. Um, so Motor Commercial is making up the biggest contribution to premium, uh, followed by Motor, et cetera. And you placing, this is how much of your business is placed with each insurer. Uh, all time. So you'll, you'll notice a lot of this seems to follow on. It goes claims also went and then go, it went to claims all time. So it's premium paid all time. So you've collected throughout the business, uh, out the existence of your brokerage. This one has collected nearly a billion rand. And this is how that premium has been made up over time. And this is how the insurers have been split over time. premium transactions, these are the invoices that run out of Cardinal. So you can actually track an invoice in here and see what specifically it was collected for um, as well. We And then earned premiums. So earned and unearned relates to your annual policies. So if you've collected a premium, so, and, and obviously you earn the premium every day on an annual it's, you, you don't actually shouldn't actually report it all on day one at least you have an idea of how much unearned premium you have so it, it strips the premium down to a number of days so how many days you expect to earn it over um say 365 would be a normal annual this policy for example must be a a term of some description the dates but again it's scrambled data so how much of the time have you already earned? How much is still outstanding? How much kind of commission and fee is still at risk if that policy cancels? And then finance, last, the last tab is an overview of the, of the income of the business. So your commission, how is that growing? Your year to date, month to date, you can see the trend again on the side here is 12 months. Uh, broker fees if your business collects them um, and binder fees to see how your trend is going. If you, I mean, one thing we check is if our premium's going up, but our binder fees are not, that means we're placing a lot of off platform or off binder business. What is, why is that? Why are we not being able to place business with our binders? Um, which is a concern for us. Um, so we can easily see what's going on there. And then it just basically breaks it down into the various components. So commission, where are we earning? Again, you'll see it looks similar. Where are we earning the commission? Obviously, Motor Commercial was the biggest premium, so it will be the biggest commission. And which insurers are we earning it with? All-time commission is, again, much like the premium and the claims, just takes it to the start date of the brokerage. Broker fees then follows on. And then you can go to income all time and just trend. This will take a second. So it'll now trend your income. And you can see over the all time of the business, you've collected most of your income has come from XYZ followed by ABC. And your broker fees have split on the same amount. And then that gives you everything over time. Then a, a, another a, a valuable component of this for us is clients that have multiple policies. Um, when we're doing renewals on large commercial clients that may have multiple policies with us, it's nice to be able to give them a view of their whole position with us. So if you go in here, you can narrow this data down to 
splitting it every so everything becomes about an insurer a product a cover a broker an underwriter etc but where we use it is on a client um, who may have multiple policies if i choose a customer i don't know them because they're not real but you, you would just merely select hold control and you can select six policies and everything will become about those six policies now. So I'm hoping these policies have something. So as, assuming this was a commercial client, you had multiple buildings with you, plus a fleet, plus maybe some um, contractors or some specialist lines, you would know exactly how much premium you collected for that client, what his claims were in the 12 months. Everything I just showed you would become all about that client and his policies so you can actually at renewal use this to explain to him if he is having a, an increase and you're spreading the increase over his portfolio or if he's doing particularly well if he hasn't had premium increases all of this can be shown by just kind of using this data you can change just a few small things at the end some people like to use financial year so you can change to your financial year that data is input I think into the cardinal could be inputted by the BI guys and um, to change to to fit with your financial year. Yeah, and then there's a there's a million selections here where you can change it to date. If you want to look at uh, 2018 instead of this year and see how we performed in 2018, then you can go look there. Um, take it back and then under the again under general selections if I want to see just to give you an example we make the whole thing so now the whole system is giving you data only on ABC insurance company which would be whomever and you can check just what's happening with them and then everything everything you see here now in every tab will be just about that insurer so the policy count, the policies moved, everything here would be just about that one insurer. And then just one other thing, anything here can be exported to Excel. So this whole graph or field of data, table of data can be sent to Excel just by clicking there. I won't do it now because it will open another window, which will, I think, break Zoom. But it can be done there and the same with this one you'll see this little x wherever you see this little x you can send it to excel and yeah i think that's pretty much a quick demo i mean a full demo of the system would take four four hours four or five hours to really run through everything so perhaps craig if you want to switch and then if any anyone has specific kind of queries, anything specific they want to know, can the system do that? Can it show me this and this? Can it show me that? Um, I can try and show them if it can do it or can't do it. Yeah, uh, Paul, first of all, thank you very much. That was yeah, very, very informative. You know, when, when we do uh, BR presentations, uh, we do it with the mindset that, that we are the, you know, the solution providers uh, and you, you do the presentation with an insurance view and an insurance spin on it which does um, you know, do, do it more justice and, and, and make it more relative uh, to the audience that, we, that we're presenting to you. So uh, from Michael and myself, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Uh, I have recorded it, so I can post it on YouTube and you can become a celebrity overnight. Marvelous. Uh, marvelous. Okay, guys, so, so I've got a window open here with everyone, everyone's names. And if you've got a specific question, just at the bottom of your screen, you should see raise hand. Uh, click on raise hand. There we go, Joseph. Uh, and you can speak now, Joseph. Just unmute yourself. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much uh, for the presentation. I've got two quick questions. Uh, the first one, I must say that what I liked about the system, obviously, it gives the financial position of your business. I think that's really, really useful information uh, when you're running a business. Uh, is all the data from the Cardinal system or do you have some plugins to 
uh, insurance companies or other data sources that could be useful to your business? And then two, do you have a query interface where you can more or less specify the report variables? Okay, um, so this, Joseph, to answer your first question, your second question I'll leave to Michael, but uh, to answer your first question, we've, we've specifically integrated this into Cardinal 360. Uh, we haven't integrated in, in, into any other insurer solution because um, the, the data that you see in here is generally data that, that is for a single entity, uh, like your business, um, and we don't have access to your data on insurer systems. They don't give us access to those type of solutions. So uh, we, we, we integrate data where we, where, where it belongs to the business owner and that, and that we, we, we can have access to it in order to integrate it into the system. So um, I know that, that, that uh, from your perspective, you are looking at, at Cardinal 360 as, as a solution and you do have a legacy system. Uh, we could always explore that um, to move that data across, but this has been built specifically for Cardinal 360, as well as what Marco mentioned earlier. We, we're busy uh, with, with uh, integration into Flexi, which, which is a, another solution that Cardinal owns, and we're busy migrating a lot of those clients onto Cardinal 360. So um, does it plug into a Suntime and an OMI and a whole lot in the like? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, Michael, do you want to just comment on integrating it in, into additional data sets to answer Joseph's uh, second question? Yeah, thanks. So I think just in terms of the, the query question, um, all of the queries that are built into this, this, this model and into the solution are basically predefined. So, um, you know, we, we basically work with, with the customer, in this case, it, it was, was Galileo or Cardinal, um, to predefine the, the queries based on the various data structures and data sources that we're looking at. Again, in this case, the, the data source is specific to C360. Um, the technology has the ability to, to, to look at multiple data sources, um, but it is predefined in terms of, of how we then develop that query um, and, and, and build that out for you as part of the solution. So I hope that answers that part of the question. And then in terms of linking disparate data sources, um, absolutely, that's one of the key functionalities of Click um, and ClickView in particular. Um, is being able to use uh, a commonality in data. So I can maybe use an ID number as an example. If you've got a uh, client's data sitting on multiple systems, um, what we would then do is use a common field, in this case, in this reference being an ID number, to link those data um, structures and then to pull that into click view. Um, but again, that's a predefined query that we would build as part of our, our, our development. Does that answer the question? Yes, it does. Thank you very much, Michael. Excellent. Any other questions? Let's just see, I'm busy scanning here. Nothing else? Just. Um... Yes, Joseph. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, just a quick one. So this BI uh, tool, does it come as part of the standard C360 or is it an add-on acquisition? It's, it is an add-on. Um, so the, the base product is Cardinal 360, C360. Mm -hmm. And then, then we've got a, a, a basket of other tools available that, that, that can be added on depending on the business needs and requirements. Okay. So there's differential pricing then between C360 Correct. and the BI2. Correct. Yes. But I, I, you know, let, let me let the, the, the cat out of the bag. Um, we are offering uh, post this session an introductory offer to, to five clients that are very interested in adopting the Cardinal BI solution. Uh, what we what we can do for you is, you know, it's only meaningful once you see your data within the solution. It's it's great to show you the functionality, but as soon as you can see your data, analyze your data, understand your data, and see the value and the power of the tool, then you you'll see the true value of the solution. So for the first five clients that that drop me an email to say that you're interested in in pursuing this, we will set up a, a, a month's free. 
uh, proof of value for you where we'll take your data and we'll integrate it into the model and give you access to it and show you how it works and see if you're interested. If you're not, then we, 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 we clear everything out. But if you are, the, 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 the offer is the first month an introductory in, into the tool so you can play around and, and understand and see the value. Um, so that's, that's on, the, on the cards right now. And I know that there's a few, few people on the call from a Flexi perspective. Uh, unfortunately, the Flexi data isn't integrated as yet. As soon as that's in, we will be having another session to show you how you can look at Flexi data either independently uh, so you can only look at your Flexi if you're still on Flexi, and then how you can look at Flexi and Cardinal 360 data as, as a consolidated view, and then your Cardinal 360 data also independently. Um, and then from, from that presentation, uh, hopefully we, we can run additional special offers uh, to, to get the adoption of, of the business intelligence tool into the marketplace. Okay. Thank you very much, Craig. Yeah, so um, I don't see anyone else's hands being raised. So I'm going to close out the session. And uh, yeah, first of all, thank you guys for attending. We really appreciate your time. And uh, I know time is, is, is exceptionally valuable. And hopefully you got value out of today's session. And you, you've, you've looked at a, at, at a fantastic solution and, and sparked some interest. Um, and then secondly, thank you to, to Paul uh, from Galileo Risk for your time taking us uh, through the BR module. Like I said, it, it, it does give a, a different perspective um, other than you know, just the normal IT guy showing it. It gave a, a really good insurance spin on it. And um, yeah, Michael's going to, like I mentioned, Michael's going to buy you a very expensive present. So you think, think of something that you want that's expensive. Um, I know that, that, that you like a lot of gadgets, so, um, you know, the world's your oyster. And then lastly, to Michael and, and his team, uh, thank you very much for, for building uh, this module and, and, and building out the Flexi components on top of um, our, our various pair systems, Cardinal 360 and Flexi. So awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And enjoy the rest of your day and looking forward to, to hosting more, more webinars. Thank you.